Jordan. I'm Spencer Linton. We now welcome in the BYU Football Director of Player Personnel. His name is Justin Anderson. Justin, welcome to the show. Up, Great to have Thank you back on. It's awesome to be here. I want to rewind to uh, a national anthem moment featuring your daughter at a BYU <laughs> basketball game uh, a month ago yeah. to start this conversation. When did you develop the uh, American Idol in the Anderson home? Because she's unbelievable. Uh, honestly, it's I, I have no idea. She was she's been doing it since she was little. Self-taught, really. Everything. Singing anthems. Singing. Or singing generally. Playing music, learning music, writing her own songs. Yeah, she just she has it. Is she awesome. gonna take care of you when you get older? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> no. Every parent's know. dream. Yeah, <laughs> exactly right. Exactly. Okay, well, you oversee uh, the pro day tomorrow from the BYU standpoint. Yeah. What goes into this event? Because we are told from you know a bunch of scouts say that hey, this is one of the best, if not the best, in the country. Yeah, you know, there's just a lot of organizations. So really, here everyone does such a great job. There's so many people involved, from grounds crew to marketing to um, people within the football department to equipment, it, they just do such a great job. It's all the little details from parking spaces to, you know, making sure that check-ins where everyone needs to be and player check-in, scout check-in, family check-in. So there's just a lot of different things that kind of go into that stuff, but it's awesome. Wow, a lot of details for sure. Yeah. So when the actual pro day begins, who's running the show and deciding the order of the drills and all of that? Yeah, so typically I'll be in contact with one of the scouts that's going to direct kind of the pro day. Um, he'll kind of, we've kind of laid out a schedule, but they, sometimes there's changes. They'll get there and say, hey, we're going to change to this or that. Uh, but they kind of have an idea based on other pro days they've been at, how they want it to run and smooth, how they, how they want it to work. And so, yeah, we put it together and he'll run it. Once that happens, once they get there, it's their show. Who's running it this year? Uh, right now it looks like the Broncos will probably be Broncos guy right. from the Broncos will be kind of directing. He's done it, I think, the last couple of years. So. And how many teams will be there represented? Right now, all 32 teams will be Fantastic. there. Fantastic. Yeah. That's always the goal. Wow. Right? Yeah. Get everybody there. That's awesome. All yep. 32 teams. Yep. Uh, earlier, we were talking about uh, just, again, the atmosphere, the pressure that's involved there. What's the advice that's given to players that are going to participate in a pro day? And, and how do you prepare for something like this? Because it is a very, very pressure-packed job interview. Yeah, you know, I think these guys have been training and preparing for it the last few months. Um, you know, I think the advice that they're probably given from the people they train with to myself is just go, go, go be your best. Like, let it all hang out. You have nothing to lose at this point, right? And I think when you do that, like in anything, when, there's, when you put pressure on yourself, you tend to tense up and don't perform your best. It's the guys that can stay relaxed in those moments that are the ones that typically really stand out and, and make a name for themselves. So, I, you know, that's the advice. Go, go have fun. You get a chance to be in front of your family and your teammates one last time and just, just, go, let it, just go let it hang out, you know? With fewer clothes on than normal. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Puka Nakua seems to fit that whole mantra perfectly, right? A guy that has He's fun for and this. can relax. Yes. He yes. really does. It's, you know, it's one of the things I really respect about being around him is is he just, he, he loves the game and he, he, he is fun to be around. Like he loves ball. And I don't think he really feels the pressure of, and you see it like Boise State moment, you know, and between him and Jaron, that's that catch. I mean, we're all over there going, and it's for him, it's just another play. I love it. Okay, it's a really exciting pro day because there's a lot of prospects, notably three that we've highlighted in, yeah. uh, you know, a, a lot, Jaron Hall and Puka Nakua and Blake Freeland. The opportunity for three drafted guys is very exciting. What, what are you hoping for uh, with these three? And, and we were kind of talking about, like, who maybe needs to do what. It'd be great if Jaron and Puka could do some more of the measurables, perhaps. Um, what do you expect tomorrow from these guys? Yeah, I really think they'll perform well. I mean, I think um, they're prepared for this. I think I really do. You know, I believe in these guys, and I think um, they'll have a chance tomorrow to kind of show for themselves and for the, the scouts that they're ready. And there is a lot of interest. Obviously, all 32 teams, some teams will have multiple representatives there. So I think um, there's interest in our guys, and I think our guys are going to do really well. And then that other group, um, that there are some other really notable opportunities. Uh, sure. With, and, and Chris Brooks and uh, Gunnar Romney and Harrisville Chance and Caleb Hayes and so on. There, there are others. That's a good group, too. There could be a nice crop of uh, undrafted free agents or priority signings, as they say. Absolutely. And, you know, the great thing is, is if you ever have one player that's getting a lot of attention, if you're those other guys, 
I, I think that's amazing because now you have this opportunity in front of all these teams to kind of show what you can do as well. So I think there's going to be a lot of eyes. Um, there was a lot of interest over, over the season as you met with scouts. So I think our guys are going to do well, and I think there's going to be some, some really good things happen for some of these guys because of this opportunity. Will you give us a sense of what that's like in season and in spring ball too, by the way? Because we, we kind of say, hey, it's pro day, and they all show up. Well, there are scouts who show up to practices during the season. So give us a sense of sort of the dialogue from NFL scouts with current players outside of pro day. Yeah, I think really it's, it's um, in the season for me, it's, they're going to meet with myself, the coaches, they're going to ask questions, character to how do they learn, to, to different things like that. And so they're doing their research. These guys are not just showing up. These, these guys have researched these guys for over a year. Um, they've had lists of names. You know, they're already starting to collect names for next year's group. And, um, you know, they're ahead of the schedule. They're scouts that have different responsibilities. And so it really is a process for them of gathering information and getting to know the guys on deeper levels and just obviously how they perform. That's part of it, a big part of it, but the other stuff is really important mm -hmm. too. BYU Football Director of Player Personnel Justin Anderson joins us on BYU Sports Nation. I'm going to ask you to put on your big opinion hat here. Oh, boy. Because we were just talking about the guy who we believe can help themselves the most tomorrow during Pro Day, and we can focus in on the big three. I kind of feel like Blake Freeland is what he is because he showed out at the Combine and people know him well. Jaron Hall and Puka Nakua seem to have a little bit more of an erratic range when it comes to, you know, where they could potentially be drafted. So of the big three, which guy do you feel like can help themselves the most tomorrow at the pro day? God, if I have to pick, do I have to pick one? You got to pick one, Justin. Um, I actually think, and maybe it's just because I was a receiver, I, I think Puka has a lot to, to show. And... Um, He's obviously done a lot of really good things in games and shown that, but I always just think testing and showing some of those other measurables as a receiver, I think those make a big difference. I don't know how much of a difference that makes in a quarterback. I think it helps, but I think for a skill guy, mm. there is a lot, a lot placed on the measurables. Are these drills being done with current players leading up to that uh, you know, pro day that year once they're done? Is that like, are you, I, I think you guys are, right? You take 40s and do you do three cone and 20? Yeah, I mean, our guys, so that? yeah, I think most colleges are going to train these guys in a lot of it, but I don't think you dive into it, right? Not hard, just it's, a little bit? Yeah, these guys, as soon as their season's done, they said this is something they're going to do. They're going to go find someone they're going to train, and that's where they're going to really yeah. hone in on how do you run the three cone drill, how do you run the short shuttle, what are some advantages in the 40, and the different things to prepare specifically for the combine, because there is a lot of, you know, eyes and stock taken into some of those measurables. So, it, because it is interesting, it's not your job to get them drafted, but kind of, it's it's your job to win games first and develop individuals to prepare them for that opportunity. So it's kind of you kind of hand them off, I guess, yeah. at that point maybe. Yeah, and you know, I think you know, I tell the guys really, my job is to help promote our, our players, and for me, it's easy. We have amazing kids. We, I think BYU's showing. The kind of guys that have made it in the NFL, they're having success. And so for me, it's easy. I just want to make sure I provide an opportunity yeah. for all these guys to get that, that chance. And really, I'm just a, a, a mediator to help provide some information. All right, let's finish with some clarification on the 40-yard dash, which is always the most watched, most anticipated event for all of these guys. Yeah. And there are unofficial and then official times. So how does that work at BYU's Pro Day specifically? Are, are they hand-timed unofficial and then it's confirmed by laser? How does that work in, in yeah, regard to BYU? Uh, I think most places outside of the combine, it's, it's hand-timed. So they're going to take the average or there's going to be one scout that's going to give the time. And that, that's when the one will be considered the, the official time. There's probably some people timing on their own. Mm -hmm. That gives the unofficial time. And then someone will give them, hey, here's the time that we're going we're gonna to use as the official time. That's why I go with my unofficial 516. Yeah, you didn't, trust the, you didn't trust the timers we used. Yeah. It's like, wait a minute. No, no, no. I'm going with, I'm going with the unofficial 516. Whatever is convenient. <laughs> Whatever's fast. Yes. Yeah, whatever's That's faster. exactly right. Justin, thanks for hanging out with us. Absolutely. We look forward to a really fun program yeah, tomorrow. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome.